this module, we're going to talk about copying AMIs. And we're going to go over copying AMIs across regions, across accounts, and copying AMIs in general. So you can copy an AMI or an Amazon machine image within or across regions and across accounts. And you can do this using the console, the command line interface or CLI, any of the software development kits or the SDKs, or the EC2 API using the copy image action as we show here in our diagram. So we have a source AMI. It's being copied using the copy image with a couple of parameters of encrypted and using a KMS key, which is optional, to create an AMI copy with the same EBS root volume snapshot. We can copy AMIs with encrypted snapshots and also change encryption status during the copy. So remember this for the exam. You might get scenarios where it describes copying AMIs with encrypted snapshots and changing the encryption status during the copy. And you wanna remember that you can do that. And when you copy an AMI, the copy is an identical but distinct target AMI or copy AMI with its own unique ID. So the source AMI has an ID, you copy it, the destination AMI has a different ID, but it is identical otherwise. And you can change or deregister the source AMI, the one that you copied from, with no effect on the copied AMI. And it's the same in reverse. So if you change or deregister the copied AMI or the destination AMI, it has no impact on the source AMI. And launch permissions, user-defined tags, and S3 bucket permissions are not copied from the source AMI to the copy. So you need to remember for the exam that if there's a scenario when you're copying an AMI, the launch permissions and user-defined tags and S3 bucket permissions won't be on the new AMI. You'll have to create those on your copied AMI. And AWS Marketplace AMIs cannot be copied across accounts. They can be copied within your own account, but you can't copy them across accounts. What you do is you launch an EC2 instance using the AWS Marketplace AMI, and then you create another AMI from that instance. And that's how you can copy an AMI that's from a Marketplace AMI to another account. All right, let's talk about cross-region copying of AMIs. So one of the benefits of cross-region copying is you can launch consistent instances in different regions from the same AMI. So you see here in our diagram, we have three regions. We have region one, which is our source region. We're copying the AMI from region one to region two, and also from region one to region three. And then we are launching instances from each of those AMIs. And those instances are going to be consistent across those three regions because they're all being launched from either the original AMI or exact copies of that AMI. And the launch instance from an AMI resides in the same region as the AMI. So you couldn't just use AMI one and launch instances in region two and region three from AMI number one. The AMI that you launch from has to be in the same region. That's why we take advantage of copying the image of the AMI across the regions. And if you make changes to the source AMI, you must recopy the source AMI to the target regions. Otherwise, your other region AMI launched instances will be different than your source. Also, you need to update your source AMI resources to support running in a different region, such as if you have database connection strings or other application configurations, those need to be updated to point to the appropriate resources in the other regions. So you have to remember this when you copy your AMI to your destination regions. And destination regions are limited to 100 concurrent AMI copies. So these are, these are things that you might find in scenarios on the exam. You might find a scenario where you have connection strings and application configuration data in your AMI. 
and you're asked whether copying that AMI to a different region and then launching an instance in that different region will work. Well, no, it won't unless you change that database connection string and those other application configuration data to reflect running in that new instance. Otherwise, the, the launched instance in the other region will point back to the, the originating region's resources, which is not what you want. All right, finally, let's talk about copying AMIs across accounts. So with cross-account copying, you can share AMIs with another AWS account. And when you do this, it does not change the ownership of the AMI. The owning account is charged for the storage in the region. So here we have an example. The account on the left, we're copying that AMI, that source AMI, over to the account on the right, the receiving account, and we're copying the image using the copy image command with the parameters of encrypted again and KMS key ID. And so now we have the AMI copied over to the receiver account, but the ownership is still with the owner account and the owner account is charged for the storage in the region wherever the receiver account is running. If you copy an AMI that was shared with your account, you are the owner of the target AMI in your account. So this is different than the basic copying across accounts. Now, what we're talking about here is if you've received a, an AMI via a copy from another account, and then you copy that AMI, you become the owner of the, the now copy of the copy AMI. Tricky, but you might find a scenario depicting that, that situation on the exam. So the owner of the source AMI is charged standard EBS or Elastic Block Store or S3 transfer fees, and the receiver is charged for the storage of the target AMI in the destination region. And the source AMI owner has to grant you read permissions for the storage that backs the AMI. So this is another important aspect of cross-account copying. And then finally, if the shared AMI has encrypted snapshots, the owner also has to share the key or keys with you. And that's what we show in this example in our diagram, that CMK needs to be shared across to that receiver account. Okay, so that's it for copying of AMIs. We've talked about copying in general within the same account copying across regions within an account, and then of course, copying across accounts and the various details that you need to know for the exam for these three different scenarios. For more details, check the link in the description. Learn with Wits Labs, success certified.